All right, I was at work a while ago and I needed a lock. Why? Because they have showers there. I like to use the showers. I keep a lot of my stuff in the locker and I thought, I should get a lock for that. It's a very safe company. No one would ever steal anything, but I didn't want even people opening the locker and seeing all my stuff because they might think I live there or something like that. I almost do. Uh, so anyway, I figured what kind of lock to get? A padlock? Then I got to have a key or a combination. I got to remember the combination. I just wanted something quick, like almost as quick as just opening it. So I thought, well, you know, these phones, they got... Uh, you know, digital fingerprint opening. Now they have the face one. Don't like the face one. I'd rather stick to the phone one, the fingerprint one. So that's why I switched to Google because, you know, different story. I do that a lot. <clears throat> but the thing is, I figured somebody out there must be making like digital fingerprint locks. They use them on other types of technology, you know, like to get into buildings and things like that and in all the spy movies. Since this technology is out and it's being done, I'm sure someone did it. So I went on to Amazon and sure enough, somebody did it. A uh, few people did. There's actually several to choose from. Interesting thing when you're shopping, look at the photos because sometimes you'll see the same uh, product um, and just sold from different people. And I mean, it's just basically remarketed um, different places. And it's, um, it's the same thing, just different prices. So you could actually, sometimes people will charge you more for the same exact product. I've seen it at like a difference between like 80, $90 on products. So it, it's just good to keep that in mind. Um, anyway, the product itself is called a uh, digital lock. And I don't know if I could consider it any other thing, but a digital lock. And it comes in a little box. The box is pretty nice. Now these things are all gonna come from China, of course. Um, yeah, I don't even know if we make them here, but it makes sense because they're not terribly expensive. Like 20, uh, I think it was like $29, $30, let's say $30. Okay, you get instruction manual. Now, notably, this is the second lock I got. The first lock, it was pretty neat. It was actually cheaper, like $24, but um, it wouldn't hold a charge. So maybe the battery was like, dead or something like that. I charged it up the next day, couldn't use it. So sadly I did a whole review on that and I couldn't even use it. But anyway, I don't wanna make this review too long, but anyway, you get instructions, you get a little card. Um, for, hey, thanks from like Megafoy and Bofe. There's actually like different company names. I don't even know what the actual lock name is. Maybe I'll try and post it there. But the lock itself, the lock itself is a tiny little, it looks like a padlock. And once you scan it, I've already opened it and put my fingerprints in using an app. This one, like some of them you don't need an app for. This one you do need an app for, so you have to download the app. But it's, it's pretty cool and then you use them. Um, it's funny thing, you to download the app, I think you scan a barcode and to uh, the app will wanna scan a QR, QR codes. But so you got that, you scan this QR code which belongs to the lock and they'll automatically know which lock you're talking to. They can communicate via Wi-Fi. And next thing you know, you got a lock. You put your fingerprint, and it opens. It's just so cool. It's like it even pushes the lock out. You know, some like you're open, you have to pull it out, but because electronics, so that. This hand, three on this hand, so it doesn't matter where I go. You go up, you touch it. It's a little too high, but there you go. Yeah, so. Um, and yeah, the question's, what if the battery dies? Well, then there's a little thing to there, you charge it up again. So if it dies on the wall or on the locker, I guess you're gonna have to take some little battery pack, a little charger, and plug it in there and get enough juice so you can actually unlock it and then go charge it. But it's supposed to last a long time. I haven't tried that much. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. It's a, it's a digital lock, it's very simple. Um, but it's pretty cool, I can't wait to try this out. And, um, and if you, um, for some reason, you can't do it, unlock it this way, you can use the phone app. Thing about the phone app, it's very nice. It's very polished, a good graphic look. I wasn't actually expecting it to look so nice. Um, but the, yeah, the aesthetics on it work well. It's very easy to use, very simple. Although all the audio is in Chinese. So it's like speaking to you in Chinese and, but it is in English when you read it. So I guess that part is good, but it's just a little odd. It kind of threw me. Um, and it wants permission for your location. I guess that's understandable about the proximity to this thing. It wants permissions for your photos and like media. I don't like giving permission to that when I can help it, but uh, it does need to uh, the, use this QR code. So I guess that's why it needs permission for that. So, and the other thing is once you got it locked, uh, running, just uh, turn off the app completely so it's not even running in the background. Uh, that's one thing. Probably don't wanna delete it because you might need the app again, but that's, that's the price you have to pay. So those are things to keep in mind. The other really weird thing is that it has a little like kind of a, a protection, little rubber stopper for this, I guess. So it gets, yeah, it's gonna get wet in the showers and stuff like that. Um, it's not attached at all. So when you take it off, you plug it in, you charge it up and just little tiny pieces kind of hanging out. And I thought it was like garbage the other day. I, I 
kind of as I was charging it, I hadn't put it back on. I picked up, hey, what is that? I threw it away and realized, wait a second, that sounds like, like kind of rubber. Oh, that's pla that's that belongs to this. So, you know, that kind of like was a little annoying. It does come with the um, a little uh, micro USB, which is cool. And uh, overall, I, I can't wait to go to work and put it on a locker. So, yeah, I'd rec I, so far, I think it's awesome, but we'll see how it works in the long term. Long term. We'll see how it works in the long term.